Demand for cocaine has been growing to unprecedented levels in Europe, as does the dangers to communities. Organized crime gangs are fighting over the billions of dollars in black market money. Germany is now one of the countries trying to rally international authorities to coordinate efforts to interrupt international supply lines. General Loeza has got his hands full. Thousands of containers are loaded in the Peruvian port of Caleo every day, and cocaine could be hidden in any of them. Demand in Europe is increasing, and so is drug smuggling. Loeza's anti-drug team is on daily patrol. Intel about any potential suspicious containers would be game-changing for law enforcers. We absolutely need an international exchange of information with all the investigating authorities so that we can seize the drugs and the criminals behind them. Due to rising demand, coca cultivation in Peru has doubled since 2015. The drug is almost exclusively exported to Europe. In Germany, a record 35 tonnes were seized last year alone. That's why Germany's Federal Minister of the Interior, Nancy Faeser, is travelling to South America, offering greater collaboration between nations. I've already seen the spiral in violence in Belgium and the Netherlands. Public prosecutors and journalists have been shot dead and I would like to prevent that from happening in Germany. 2,000 drug-related deaths are not just a few. And it's not just about people dying, it's the huge impoverishment associated with violence and huge profits. In Peru, rainforests are being cleared for drug cultivation. Coca farmers earn just enough to survive, while international smugglers make billions. The rule of law is being undermined by corruption. We have a shared responsibility. Countries that consume must cooperate with countries that produce because this is where the damage is done, the environmental destruction and the murders. Negotiations for a security agreement are to begin soon. More education and training are planned and a greater exchange of information. The importance of information sharing was demonstrated for the anti-drug police at the end of January. A tip-off enables the team to seize over seven tonnes of cocaine in the port of Caleo. The cocaine is embedded in wooden panels. The smugglers are getting more and more creative and it's becoming harder to find. It's a great satisfaction, not just for me, but for everyone who has worked with us. We are always after the drugs with the aim of finding the people behind them. That's why cooperation is so important and any help is welcome. Because the drug business is poisoning society and the people who use them. For more analysis on this, let's bring in Robin Hoffman. He is an assistant professor of criminal law and criminology at Maastricht University in the Netherlands. Welcome to DW and thank you for joining us. So according to the European Drug Report, a record 303 tons of cocaine was seized by EU member states back in 2021. How do you explain these record figures? Yes. So uh, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, these numbers are huge and they have only been grown. So these numbers are from 2021. Um, they have grown substantively in the past two years. And you also have to think that these are the numbers of seized cocaine or seized drugs. So the number of the drugs that actually um, uh, came in and were actually distributed in Europe are much higher. The reasons for that are clear. Um, the drug uh, trade is soaring in South America um, and we have one big gateway um, into Europe, and that is the Netherlands, also the port of Antwerp in Belgium, and of course, Nancy Faeser named it, the port of Hamburg. These are the big gateways of, of drugs into Germany and, and Europe. And, and talk with us a little bit uh, about the strength of organized crime and the role that it plays here. So we see that in the past 10 years or so, um, the violence um, has actually escalated. So we have powerful crime syndicates in um, the Netherlands, but also in Germany that um, grew with this enormous, um, uh, yeah, uh, enormous money that is actually in the cocaine trade. And um, they more and more put the violence out on the street, the more and more infiltrating um, the rule of law and democratic institutions. And they became a real threat to security and to the rule of law in within the European countries. 
There's a big effort trying to rally international authorities to coordinate efforts to interrupt international supply lines. Uh, Germany is part of those efforts. Do you expect anything to come out of it? So we will see. First of all, I think it's a good initiative by um, the German Minister of Interior to go to South America. That's where the supply is. And it puts cocaine on the map. We have to talk about the fact and the reasons why cocaine have become a more or less a lifestyle drug in, uh, within the EU. And we have to do something against that. We have to fight and um, we really have to, to enforce our, our fight against these big crime syndicates. Um, we have to um, really cut the demand. Huh? The people that use, the consumers, um, they, that's the points where we really have to try to curb this um, enormous business in order to protect our rule of law. Robin Hoffman, Assistant Professor of Criminal Law and Criminology. Thank you. Thank you.